All right. So, now getting back to clarinet practice, right? Like I said, practice teaches you how to do the notes, right? Because each instrument is played differently. Mm -hmm. This, for example, mm -hmm. oh, mm. I read the oh, how that happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even, even loosen it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yesterday. And it was perfectly tight, as far as I remember. <laughs> I did that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, I remember how to put it on. <laughs> Again. Gotta figure out which way to turn it. Mm -hmm. well, that was free fills. Oh, yeah. On ABC this morning. I gotta meet the TV. <laughs> of course. All right. Mm hmm. That means is I went a little too tight with the lips <laughs> and did it in a different way. <laughs> That's a scale to me. <laughs> I was like, that's a scale to me. <laughs> and I, I barely paid it yesterday, didn't I? <laughs> Sounds like I'm getting better, huh? <laughs> Now that's the first line. The London Bridge is falling down. Right. I bought the clarinet three days ago. 
And already I'm playing a song, basically, you might recognize. <laughs> now, um, what am I demonstrating, right? I can, most people can, if they're musically inclined, play an instrument, right? Not saying that makes me unique or better or worse than anyone else, right? I'm just showing you a little effort, <laughs> a little trying, <laughs> and you might can do something. <laughs> now, sometimes you can do something even if someone else wants you to do. <laughs> I keep telling you no. <laughs> but if they keep telling you no, that's not what you're supposed to do, right? Now, if someone tells you yes, they want to do it with you, right? If they tell you no, they don't, right? Even if someone else ain't giving them a choice in one area, <laughs> if you are, that's better than the other person's right? Mm -hmm. But only a little bit better, right? <laughs> in that we don't know what we're doing here, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus' last few statements, one of them is, forgive them, Father. They do not what they do, right? Even though they would swear up and down, they did know what they were doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> we know we're murdering this dude who thinks he's our Messiah. <laughs> According to Isaiah 53. <laughs> and making him the suffering Messiah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of the triumphant Messiah as mentioned in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Well, he can't triumph. If you can choose to follow evil and follow evil, or you choose to follow good and follow good. That's anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I threat of the blood of it. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> and that ain't bad. <laughs> that ain't bad. Very few haunts or mistakes. In fact, I don't think there was any of that. I was a little soft on a few of the nuts. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> but you heard every note of the song, right? <laughs> And like I told you, when someone tells you they're into women, they're into women. <laughs> you can't change someone's mind, no matter what you do, right? <laughs> if someone tells you they're into men, they're into men, right? Don't worry about that, right? Either, either. It's just which, that they want sex with the same sex, right? That ain't the problem. It's condemnation of it. <laughs> It's condemning that Christians ask the problem. It's neither sin nor not sin. You're all sinners. Right. Even if you marry the wrong woman. Just because she's closer to you. How does that mean she's the right woman if you're all in sin? Right. You're forgiving yourself for marrying the woman you're with, but you won't forgive a man for being with the same sex. Right. God didn't say that. <laughs> God says for you both sins. <laughs> and you'll be forgiven your sins. <laughs> condemn both sins and you're condemned for your sin of adultery with another woman, right? So your adultery involves two things. <laughs> you're with the wrong partner or right. Either you're with the wrong right partner, right? <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> but the point is forgive it no matter what. No matter what. <laughs> If you're with someone who likes you, though, that's part of what you want, ain't it, ain't it? Even if it's more than one person, hypothetically, right? Who knows? <laughs> but if it is one person, that's okay. Say it's more than one person. Say two women want you or three women want you. Is that a sin either? No. no. You can do that too, right? <laughs> Just more sex for the male. He's got to perform for each woman, too, and please them often, right? <laughs> Usually the same day, usually the same day. 
Yeah, if I can have sex with my ex-girlfriend up to three to seven times a day, I think I can have at least three to seven women, maybe, once a day. <laughs> Not saying I do that everywhere I go, <laughs> or all the time. <laughs> I do take her ass myself, you know, once a while. Not to brag. <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> I'm not condemning myself trying to find a wife or even a few wives. But that's up to the women, too. Because see, if you do that, they want to live with you or not, right? They got to get along, right? <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> well, because King David had seven women outside of Jerusalem and ten in. Oh, and then where the virgins are, right? And, you know, Jesus spoke of that too, but <laughs> now David's women were with Absalom, right? But mm -hmm. David was their king first, right? <laughs> That's like Reuben and Bilhah, right? <laughs> now, of all the women David was with, right? The ten virgins seem more ceremoniously a marriage than, right, you know, right, the uh, seven outside of Jerusalem, right. And Jesus also mentioned ten virgins, right. Well, he had the possibility of being with the same number of women they were with to be a Messiah like David, right. Ever think of that? Mm -hmm. What well, do you mean Peter didn't write it down to tell you, right? <laughs> I guess he thought you would figure it out through some of the parables of Christ. I don't know. If Christ was even married or not, right? <laughs> See, if I teach you something, yet I have a secret on the side, I don't want to tell everybody else, right? When I talk to you and our private setting, right? Say in church, right? Instead of the synagogue, which is in the house, right? Back then, right? And I'm in a house, right? And I'm teaching you something, right? I'm teaching you something for a reason, right? It's to do something about something that's an issue for us all, right? Well, the issue here is what? Mm hmm Was Jesus even married, right? Some people debate that. One of the biggest problems with the woman brought to him in the act of adultery is who did she actually commit adultery against her? Usually it's the husband, okay, in Judaism, who determines her punishment anyway, I know. Or if he forgives her. Not a Jewish man playing the Messiah. <laughs> Unless the woman was already his husband, or his husband, right? His wife, his wife, sorry, right? I know. Uh, if the woman was his wife, right, and she was brought to him for she was with another man, right, and they caught her in the very act, right, as they were having coitus, as we call it today, some people, right, or sex, right, and then they got caught in the act, right, <laughs> And we're brought to Jesus. But that's an interesting thing, because, you know, how do you know my life was with another man, right? You mean you let them have sex and then caught them for doing something you let them do, and then I was supposed to get upset with that and stole my wife. <laughs> oh, but it does say in the law you're to bring them back. So, oh, you didn't do that either, did you, right? You just brought my wife, right? Well, where's the man, right? <laughs> And again, do I want to stone her? No. no. She may have been caught into it, right? <laughs> Tricked into it. Mm -hmm. So Mary Magdalene had seven husbands, right? The woman at the well had five husbands and one <laughs> lover mm -hmm. she was living with, right? Wouldn't she be called a spitster now today or a promiscuous woman? <laughs> so guess what? Jesus accepted her too and forgave her her past. Right. That's our problem, Christians. We're not getting the message of Christ 
and he may have had coincidence with her that night. They were around the Samaritan for two or three days, right? Well, if you're with her and you know the problem was raising up a seed, right? Even if it's a daughter you have with her, mm -hmm. a child is a child. A child is a child. And when you become one flesh with a woman, right? And you have a child with her, mm -hmm. let not man put that asunder, right? Or Satan, right? That is a sign you had a child, right? And married a woman, right? <sighs> Yet, Satan taught us something different. To condemn. To condemn, right? See, what hurt the sinners in Eden, right? Is they let themselves be tricked into doing something they weren't even told they weren't supposed to do, right? Have sex with another human being, right? See, if I tell you there's a tree, you might think I meant a literal tree, right? God understood that part, and that's why he said that, right? See, another thing about grace is, if I tell you something's a tree, right? And yeah, it's not a tree you eat of. You can always say, well, I didn't know, right? Oh, ain't that what Jesus said? They know not what they do. Oh, oh, you mean Adam had sex with Satan, but that wasn't really what he said. But instead of saying that, right, and admitting he didn't know what it was he wasn't supposed to have sex with, right? He had sex with this angel instead, or this other human being who was also in need with them, right? <laughs> That's grace too, right? I didn't know this was the tree you meant, you could say, right? Forgive me, <laughs> Father, for I sinned too. I was with 17 women, so Jesus would say, right? Himself. <laughs> but is that a sin for the Messiah who's like unto David to be with that many women? No, <laughs> no. Not necessarily. Not <laughs> necessarily. <laughs> He's like unto David. He's like unto David somehow. <laughs> Now, he didn't do as many as Solomon, I guess, right? Solomon had a thousand lives. Uh oh, he's really getting busy. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> and whose choice is that? Mm -hmm. There's, there's. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And when you get nabbed, right? Say your wife cheats on you with another man. Anyone, anyone. Why is she? Right? You're doing something she does is wrong and you won't listen to her. So she did it despite you and show you someone can get pregnant by anyone and you're just being a dick, right? <laughs> usually, usually. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I'll have the baby instead. And... You, you can't make me abort it. <laughs> Is that what she's saying? Yeah, yeah. If she were to, if she were to. Now again, mm -hmm. it's like with anyone, if you meet someone and they do it for you and the other person ain't doing it for you and you're with the, a different person, right? Is that a sin? Not necessarily, not necessarily, right? The person you're with ain't fulfilling your needs, right? And that can happen sometime in life, right? And if they're not, they're not, right? If they are, they are, right? But if they are acting worse than normal, they need help. And they won't get the help they need, right? Well, all right. Have a good morning.